So now it's Sunday morning, um, Saturday's vlog was a total wipeout and I've got to do anything so today's vlog I'm going to make it a larger vlog, an even larger vlog than maybe 30 minutes and I'm going to try and include quite a bit. Uh, I've been working on these sketches this morning, <coughs> these are school sketches, uh, I want these to be just black and white um, designs, as you can see this one, uh, excuse me, that's the coffee. <coughs> This one has got like a tentacle coming out of that eye socket and the eyeballs just popped out there, something like that, I don't know. Uh, but the background here is like um, uh, some kind of dimension uh, rip or something and it's going to spew all this um, blackness. So that's the idea behind that sketch. Uh, I've just done a few pencil sketches for now, uh, different stuff, but this is like going to be skulls in this sketchbook, so that's why I've stuck to skulls. Uh, this one was inspired by Doomsday, um, the bad dude in uh, Superman comics. I'd say the comics, because I haven't seen the, the film, but I know Doomsday's in it, but um, you know. Yeah, I just wanted to do all the spikes and stuff. Um, probably need more, a bit more reworking, you know, like um, spikes and stuff off the skull. But it's an idea. Yeah, this one is like a load of, like like a little serpent thing. Um, there's a mouth of a serpent coming out of that eyeball, and loads of others. Um, I think I want to do some more tentacles and stuff just to add to it and try and create a lot bit of a darkness uh, around it I don't know we'll just see how it goes so that's another skull um, this one is sort of a weird alien type of skull I think with little tentacles on the side like a third eye there um, yeah, the little skull drawings to develop and to see how they go. Um, I just want these to be black and white, maybe, and then I'll work out if they need colour or not. Um, but yeah, I want these to be little standalone designs um, for something, I don't know what, some kind of project. Maybe just like black and white illustrations that I can work on and um, yeah, maybe sell the little, because they're only like A5 size, so maybe sell the little prints of them or something. Or put them in like a little tiny book or something, I don't know, I'll do something with them. It's just best to just sketch all day, all day and every day. Let me sketch another one. about sketching ideas and picking the best ones really Demon skull, quick sketch. Just about figuring out various designs, seeing if they work or not. Even if they don't, it's just fun to draw, and it'd be something I can refer back to at a later date if 
I don't finish these or anything like that. So yeah, and that's what I'm doing today. I've got a few updates to show you um, later today once I finish them updates. And yeah, so sorry about not doing yesterday's vlog, but Saturdays is usually like a weird day where I'm busy doing stuff and it's usually family time on Saturday nights. Uh, we watched Star Wars last night. Uh, yeah, so sometimes it's a strain to do it on Saturdays, but you know, that's just the way it is. <laughs> so sorry about that. And yeah, we've got some updates to come. And yeah, but first I've got to go to shop, pick up a few things for Sunday dinner. So I'm just making a start, just quickly inking these. Um, I mean, real quick. I'm not too bothered about details at the moment as I can finish everything off later on. I'm just more concerned about the the way it looks. Particularly these skull drawings. And I want the a nice dark contrast for this artwork. I'm using a Unipin fine liner, 0.8, which is a thicker line. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Tentacle thing. go over some of these lines with a brush pen but for now it's a-ok -okay. I don't forget that eyeball it's gonna be a lot of black area surrounding this skull particularly where this line is that I'm drawing now details so yeah the basic line work is just what I want to do for now the shadow will all come later The eyeball there. That weird looking tentacle just coming out of its eye socket. Yeah, basic land work sorted on that one. Um, <coughs> Did he cough? Keeps going back. Right, I've got a, a black. Um, for some reason, I don't know why it says. It says black noir and it says negro. I don't know why it says that. <laughs> Unless that's some kind of word, foreign word for black, I don't know. Crazy, yeah. Uh, right, I've got the. Actually, the black might go through that. Hmm. Yeah, I don't want to work. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing today, to be honest. No, cause the black will go through to that other drawing. So, what I might do is just keep these as the line work and maybe draw them, redraw them larger on separate sheets of card. Yeah, 
and then they'll be larger and then I can rework bits of um, details in there and maybe add other little things as well. Yeah, so I'll just use these as the basic line drawings in this sketchbook. I think that might be a better idea as I'm going along. Yeah, I'll do that then instead of using that Pro Marker because it's going to go through this paper. This one, I think it will be, I will be drawing lots more, so I think it will be best just to do larger drawings of these, just try and plan it out and if I want to add extra stuff to it, then the larger drawings, I can do that in there. Yeah, it's a plan. So yeah. Got some updates coming up later on in this uh, update vlog um, on some drawings. I haven't really got round to finishing some because I've got more commissions come through. So yeah, I've got them to do. So, but I really want to finish some of my other artwork because it needs to be done. And once I've finished it, I can scan it into the computer and. Um, create prints out of them or use a print on demand service and sell my prints on there. There's lots of uh, options you know that I can try and sell them. So yeah I'm just concerned about creating the the essence of the design here, not like a really finished design. Because the larger drawings will be the finished designs. And there's that bit there. Monkey looking tooth there. So really, the reason why I'm doing uh, this, these artworks is to obviously try to sell them and you know stuff like that. But I want to try and get better art equipment and stuff, and obviously to pay some of the bills as well, like and you know things like that, normal everyday things. But yeah, I need some more equipment. I need a new camera, maybe another battery for the camera that I've already got, and then. I can do twice as many videos in a day, you know, or like work ahead, you know, schedule these videos, um, plan things that way, which will be good. So this is uh, an old drawing that I've started um, uh, my vlogs a while ago and I was just doing a bit here and there. and. So what I'm doing, I've just added some charcoal and gone over it with uh, this, I think it's a 2B pencil, is it? I'm not too sure. No, 6B, wrong one. Yeah, and then smudging it slightly and then pro markering some layers in it just to add some uh, different tones to it. It's like smoke underneath and I've just started to sketch in a bit of a background, um, some little, small little rocky peak things um, I'm gonna leave a slight border around it um, although his hands nearly touching out of the border so I don't know you know and the arrow is as well so I don't know unless I leave the border in and then they're like poking out yeah probably will do so just working out a bit of the more of the background I want the background to recede in to the distance a bit so um, 
Not sure what's going to be in the background actually. Maybe more rocky hills. Something like that. Just to add a bit of depth to it and then there's going to be these crazy rocks which are some part of land or something uh, behind so in the sort of sort of frame the the sky if you can see these like weird rocky peaks there don't know so like this section on the undead king I'm gonna call it um, I need to grey tone it up a bit and this will be the only section that will have a slight bit of colour in it really light pinks you know and um, just some rotted um, intestines and guts type colour but first I've got to like uh, layer up a few layers of grey light grey this is cool grey one it's got to finish off this I think adding some nice grey tones underneath just helps really so the most part I want um, this drawing to be just like mainly grey tones and this will be the only bit of colour there really so even though that warm grey looks like a brown but I can go over that um, with some greys and try and grey it up but that's supposed to symbolise like a cloak well not symbolise it's supposed to be a cloak not <laughs> coming up with these real crappy words am I I don't know what I'm doing I don't know what I'm talking about right so I need to find the next one up cool grey 2 I think that's there yeah there it is um, sort of colouring layers grey tones become gradual tones which are easier to layer over some colour another bit of intestine there with guts and another piece there small intestines or it could be other stuff just a load of guts <laughs> yeah so you can see the gradual tones now so now I need a cool grey 3 which is this one <clears throat> I just need to layer in just a little bit of slight Turn. I don't want to overdo it. This this bit round there like that, and under there. You can see the gradual tone that I build up there, uh, that's what I wanted to achieve with that. Um, I'll just do some bit of slam there that I can edit. Some other pens. It's fun trying to do all this, it's uh, you know, actual, actually trying to finish a drawing instead of moving on to the next quick sketch. <laughs> So yeah, 
as you can see it's a slow going process but I'm going to smooth some of them lines out because um, the charcoal pencil that I've got it's, it's a fairly harsh sort of charcoal pencil um, just says charcoal pencil it's not a particular brand it's just I think these were pound shop ones which aren't particularly real good but I just thought I'd use them anyway and layer over with some pro markers and stuff like that so I'm gonna do a bit of this and you know maybe come back to it show you a bit of progress on it and then we'll do something else I don't know what <laughs> yeah I just I still feel like I'm going from one project to the other and not getting much done uh, but that's part of you know when I've got other commissions going on and stuff and so I bought myself three more of these canvases um, they're pretty cheap uh, well they are cheap a pound each uh, from pound shop uh, just to do more paintings on um, 25 centimeters times 30 so a slightly like A4 but slightly wider so yeah I've got three of them and also I got a super cheap um, like watercolor artist paint set um, in a little palette as well because I might do some cheap watercolor painting challenge videos maybe a couple I don't know we'll see I've still got to do some challenge videos with the other products I got but yeah I just thought I'd do that um, you know and buy one of these from pound shop <laughs> I'm always buying stuff from pound shop I must be one of many uh, great customers at pound shop anyway I must get oh, okay, dropping shit everywhere there we go right yeah so I'm coming back to this let's pick that pin up the floor because I need it bloody out <laughs> yeah so the is the little mountains in there in the sort of like middle ground um, there's some weird mountains there in the background and then these weird looking things in the background I don't know if you can see probably not I really showed you in the last bit anyway so I'm gonna try and create some depth with this I don't know if I'll carry on with this uh, throughout the vlog but I'll definitely try and give you some updates as well as everything that I've done in these vlogs I've got to try and show you some updates um, a couple of the paintings I don't know whether I'll be I don't know if you remember that one that it looked like desert colours with uh, demon like a demon head or something with I don't know about that one it was just you look at certain paintings on a different day and you think Nah, I don't know. I don't know about that one. You know, and some paintings uh, which I really want to do. This one, I want to try and finish this one. Because um, it's it's got some nice textures on it which I want to try and develop a bit more and just see how I... Just practicing really with oil paints. That's the main thing. Because I'm new to this sort of medium, so doing that and to see what can happen. I've seen other artists work and it's it's a bit foolish to compare yourself to other artists but you do it anyway you know more professional artists and you know and it sort of gets you down but then you think well they probably had to learn somewhere and you know that's the way it is <laughs> but there's some things that I am good at is usually drawings and stuff painting I want to get a bit more improved with that as well and using oil paints is the way forward I think and acrylics oil paints and acrylics try and mix them I don't know I'll mix them up and see see what's what but at the moment I'm sort of using oil paints as uh, like like acrylics you know I'm thinning them down a lot I'm not like overlaying lots of color like they do because I'm only on the small you know tubes so you know they probably like use the larger tubes and got a lot of paint to work with and they probably get loads of commissions whereas I don't at the moment but then I'm just practicing oil paints anyway I'm just rambling here <laughs> it's best if I try and get on with a bit of this 
so I've sort of decided that this part will be a darker grey you know these and then as, as it's coming into the middle it's getting lighter just so this can sort of stand out and separate from there I don't want to join it all up and it just looks like a part of the mountains or something so I want to try and get some big bold strokes with the pro marker mainly from the top inwards section there and then from the other side and then we can get a, a lighter grey so that was a number four so I need a number three think and just try and get some lighter strokes in between you notice I haven't erased them pencil marks I'm not too bothered about them because the the pro markers will cover most of them anyway and you know, I can go over them as well not too bothered I'd rather create a drawing that's uh, well sort of drawn than too polished. And do the other side. So, <clears throat> got that there, and then we get an even lighter grey, which will be a number two. Where's the two? Oh, there it is. And just go over what I've done there. Even though this looks darker. I don't have to go over many you know areas on it. Go over the pencil lines. It's always a good idea. Turn this over and so as you can see, like closer up, the it's sort of blend in but we'll blend it all together with the lightest colour and that'll be the number one cool grey so just found there it is
so turn that back round there. Got the number one there. So it's blending it together. That's what you want. the effect I want for now but I won't stop there with that you know I'd like to draw some details maybe add some darker bits and just try and refine it a bit more so as you can see I've done a bit more now I've done a, a cool grey one in the background on them uh, mountains there um, if I had a thinner um, grey for that one I'll, I'll put that in but I might just do little streaks of cool grey one and then do some white out but I'm starting to do some stormy clouds um, on the top I was going to do like a nighttime sort of sky but then I thought no stormy clouds might be good so I'm starting from the top doing dark and then to light as you can see there so I'm on like the cool grey three now which I need to do from the top and then I need to constantly uh, blend this just to make it look right so it'll take a good while um, just doing this quickly now because uh, my Sunday dinner's on and I ain't one gonna miss my Sunday dinner <laughs> said that wrong didn't I <laughs> ain't gonna want to miss my Sunday dinner <laughs> whatever I'm leaving a bit on the top because I'm going to trim the top because it's got a uh, like a creased corner there so I want to just trim the top off and then see how I can blend this a bit more to some slight strokes of this darker colour it's just a way of blending it if you can hear the um, game in the background I don't know if you can because it's downstairs but that's uh, Black Ops 2 the zombies so if you hear that in the background then you'll know what that is <laughs> so I've got a cool grey 4 Pro marker now. Actually, I need the thicker one. So I'll start on the top, make it even more darker. Maybe do random bits, but on the top to be quite dark. You can blend it all in as well together. do so I could go back in between these go back to a cool grey 3 and start to blend that a bit more by going over some of the areas so it's about layering in some layers as well So I could layer in some 
really strong maybe black or even what's that one a cool gray fire of that one right at the top so i've zoomed in there you can see the you know the effects that i'm going for they start off like a bit sketchier with the colors and now you're trying refine them but i'll just add this slightly darker layer in just on the top you can blend this as well so So you've got like a darker layer there which you can blend. I like to blend with a lighter colour so <clears throat> get a cool grey too. And just just go over it. In fact go over the areas. The, at the bottom of the drawing and you can start to re-add some areas some layers which I do over and over again where's the um, be number three You just redo it until you're happy with it. And that's what I'm doing. Obviously like the bottom will need uh, the cool grey one wherever it is that's over there and so you need to maybe sort out the bottom of here and colour it all in just go over that mountain top thing it's like a jagged mountain try and fill in a lot of this area leading up to the dark clouds at the top so it all connects you see so bring that there try and get that position that on the camera otherwise you won't see it so I do recommend these grey tone neutral tone pro markers really are good you get the basic uh, tones to do and um, layers for anything like metal rocks and other stuff so as you can see there needs a bit more work just a bit over there and I missed a bit there but you keep uh, doing it and that's the way it'll go with this drawing. So I've just started to ink uh, the rest of these now. Um, I'm just quickly going to ink this uh, serpent thing just coming out of the eye there. As I said before, they're just like quick ink sketches. That's why I'm not really taking my time with it. I'm just sketching fast and stuff like that. You know, just to try and ink these. Just 
to get an idea to draw these as larger illustrations. I've already inked uh, these ones. Uh, there's that one. Just quick, quick line drawings, really. Um, you know, there's not much else I can do to these. Um, so, if you see in the future that I've done something similar to these, then the, uh, that's what will be what it's, you know, based off. Um, so, yeah. Um, I'm going to go back to. I don't know whether to do a bit of this or start another painting. I don't know. Um, oops, not that. Yep, yeah, I've been busy doing this uh, most of the afternoon, so. Nice grey tones and a bit of depth added to it. Uh, I think I can do more to it, but um, I'm tempted just to start, start something else. Um, even though I've got like work to be finished, so I don't know. We'll just see what's what. See what I want to do.
stop doing the updates and just carry on doing vlogs every day. Um, I know I missed yesterday, but Saturdays I might just give it a miss anyway. But the rest of the week, I'm trying to uh, do a vlog every day. So this is today's vlog. I've done a, a few bits and here and there, uh, try to do this one, um, yeah I might be able to save this one, I'm not sure what colour hair to do on there, it's supposed to be like obviously half and half demon and one so stuff as well and as I go along from other YouTubers I've seen and um, other professional artists and just carry on doing what I'm doing trying to improve along the way this is mainly a concept piece uh, I don't know if it'll be a finished piece of artwork um, but then I've thought that about certain bits of artwork before and then I've just carried on with it and then I've not turned out to like the drawing so who knows that it's a strange and funny beast sometimes yeah so I'll end the vlog there I uh, hope you enjoyed the bits and pieces that I did do today um, in between uh, I had a nice Sunday dinner so that was a good uh, bonus um, for me <laughs> hope you had a good Sunday dinner too and yeah so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video Cheers now.